is that the user would make a request to the system, it would be randomly bounced around some proxies, and eventually one would get the page they're asking for and send it back along that route, uh, and they would get they would get the web page. And it turns out that the system can be defeated by a number of means. Uh, first of all, one of the proxies can be a bad guy sitting in the middle. Um, he can intercept uh, the, the requests and either just deny them or, uh, more importantly, the bad thing that can happen is someone becomes a proxy is that they can discover all the other proxies in the network. And the same with the user. The user becomes, if the get bad guy, which is would be the sensor of the government, um, if the government becomes a user or a proxy, with this system, there's no way to prevent them from discovering all the proxies in the network and simply add them to their block list and uh, effectively shut the entire network down. So, try it. Okay. So, the next, so we went back to the drawing board and came up with a new, new way to do this. So basically, it's not a distributed system anymore, it's kind of a, just a whole bunch of proxies out there and there's this one computer that's managing them all and managing uh, the users and the proxies. And it, it determines <coughs> um, which, uh, which users will know about which proxies and vice versa. And it limits how many proxies each user can know and how many users a proxy can know. And it's going to, so basically, um, it's very uh, detail oriented up to this point, but basically this, uh, this solves the problem of, of the bad guys becoming either a proxy or a user and discovering all the proxies. <clears throat> First of all, if the bad guy becomes a proxy, he, only, he can only possibly learn about users. And if the bad guy becomes a user, then they have to they have to work at discovering proxies. It costs them money because in order to set up an account on the, the system, you actually have to um, manually do some work. For example, I don't know if you've ever signed up for a Hotmail account. It says, please type in these uh, these letters you see in this image, and uh, so a computer can't figure out what the letters are in the image and type them in automatically. So you, a, uh, a human has to sit there and do that. So we're going to use the same method here in that you, in order to create an account on the proxy manager that you have to actually do manual work. So in order for the sensor to defeat the system, uh, they have to spend money. Uh, and uh, that's basically the very short description of, of what we're doing. Let's see, if, yeah. So, um, if you, I've written a paper on this subject. If you go to this website, the project name was originally. Peekwoody.org, uh, I didn't come up with that name. I actually hate that name, but I was stuck with it. Um, and and uh, I can see from uh, my, my look at the server logs, you can see what people are searching for when they get to my site. But uh, you can also email me. Um, the paper I've written is on that site as well as a, a couple other information about this project. Um, the original program we made, uh, I've taken down because it, it can be a tax. So there, there is no software, but basically what the project is right now is, is research. And 
until the research is done, we can't write any software. And we made that mistake the first time around where we just wanted to get something out there, pretend like we were, we were accomplishing something. Um, and in our eagerness, we forgot to uh, take care of the attacks against the system. So this time, uh, we don't want to make that mistake. So are there any questions? Okay, thank you, Paul. Uh, that's a very interesting subject. And I noticed on the, the map that uh, Canada is white, and you live in Canada, so you wipe out all the sense of shame. Okay, we have a question over here. Hi, Paul. My question is, um, for the process to work, these user does it have to be an anonymous user? And if it's so, would that increase the security problem with the internet since they can use that access as a proxy anonymous? and use that to circumvent or compromise how the secure system or financial system in the world if they gain a shark account and from there they can do uh, a denial of service attack on the server or not? That's a very good question. Uh, the question is basically, can you use this network to uh, attack, uh, attack, say, for instance, a bank system anonymously? Since a, a proxy allows you to allows you to gain anonymity through uh, because the, the connection doesn't look like it's coming from you anymore, it looks like it's coming from the proxy. And this is another reason we've designed it um, the way it is, is because you have accountability in the system. So if someone does uh, try to attack another system, then we have records of what IP address you came from. And so if the police come and say, uh, we want to track down this person, we can give them the server logs. And that may raise your eyebrows and say, whoa, you're, you're, you're uh, keeping track of everybody and uh, you, can, uh, you can turn them in at any time. And that's the trade-off you have to make in this kind of system is that uh, between people who abuse the system and legitimate users. Um, that's why this has to be run by a trusted organization. Um, hopefully, when the system is deployed, we can, uh, we can get a well-known organization to run the system that uh, everyone, everyone can agree on that is trustworthy. Um, so, uh, Right, so the system, we originally, the original P2P system was designed so that, oh, no matter what government you live in, uh, it, it, it'll work, but it, no matter where you are, there's a government, and they're going to impose laws on their citizens. And there's no way around that. You have to work within the laws of the country you just in. Okay, thank you. Uh, that's another question that would be Um, I have a question. When I understand that you are doing this um, through a, maybe like a P2P network, but the question I have is that the people in Vietnam, they, I don't think they know how to set up, I don't know, I haven't seen the software yet, but I don't know if they are able to set up a program and run th simple things such as Napster. I mean, this sounds very easy, but I was wondering if there's any way for the internet user in Vietnam to just go on the Internet Explorer and then surf the website through your system, or is it something that you are thinking about? Because I think it's it's the difficulty that, that is also a problem. So it's, are you saying so you don't have to download any software to run it? Yeah, it's like is, is it is it easy for them to set up? Oh, okay. For instance, yeah. Your software. Well, that would be the goal. Uh, obviously, is the, the 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 user we have in mind is someone who knows almost nothing about computers. So the goal would be to make it as easy as possible. Uh, but there is no way to create a program so that you don't have to download something first and install it. Um, the reason is uh, if you could get around it, uh, if you could use it without downloading anything, then the bad guy can do the same thing and uh, basically compromise the system by discovering all the proxies. Uh, any more questions? 